everybody, welcome uh, to another week of 180 seconds or less. Might be less this week. Uh, got a new timer, got a new clock, a uh, little owl. Not because Don't try and read too much into it. It's not because uh, I'm suggesting this knowledge. All, uh, owls are knowledge. No, I'm just saying. You like the color red, maybe? I thought it was cute. I thought it was yeah? cute. So what okay. I do is we start it right here. It's right around three minutes. I, I, my old clock was not working. All right, when this thing goes off, we are done. We're talking about... The Neon Demon. The Neon Demon. The sexiest uh, film lover's pick of the week. So anyways, Elle Fanning plays Jesse, a 16-year-old wannabe model who moves to L.A., actually specifically Pasadena, California, to become the next big thing right. in the fashion industry. Sounds like a story we've all heard before, right? Uh, a, a young little uh, deer in the headlights, which is actually a term they use in the movie, comes out uh, to Hollywood to make it. And uh, she's defenseless, and she's pretty, and she's just uh, ripe for the picking of uh, bad people, which she runs into many of. You know, she she could be an overnight sensation. The only problem is, like Anderson said, there are some bad, possibly bad people along the way. Keanu Reeves plays the creepiest. Might be the highlight for me was Keanu Reeves. Really? I loved his character. I wanted more Keanu Reeves. I wanted more of Jenna Malone, who plays a makeup artist who is supposedly Jesse's best friend. Yeah. Or maybe not. And the and the way that a lot of uh, Hollywood type of ladies are best friends, they are best best friends. <laughs> Which, uh, she's not trustworthy. And Bella Heathcote and Abby Lee, they play the models who are very talented, but very competitive with Jesse as well. So Jesse has her hands full with a lot of maybe snakes in the grass. This is a movie that, if you see it, you will never forget. Uh, I and Greg both like it more after seeing it. Neither one of us loved it once we walked out. I still continue to think that it has many problems. As we say, we spent 15 minutes talking about it on Cinematics this week. I think like 20 to 25 minutes. We spent a long yeah. time talking about it, but my issue with it is it was all style, very little form, especially when it came to the story. I wish the story was a little more accessible. And the gore at the end is absolutely unnecessary. Not even that it, it grossed me out. I was just like, why? Why? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the movie had pacing issues, but overall there are moments in the movie that will stay with me for years on end. I, I came out of it sort of not liking it, and now, it's to me, it's a four-star film. This I really love this movie. A Nicholas Winding Refn movie through and through. He's working on the same lever, level as uh, Jonathan Glazer and uh, Darren Aronofsky and David Lynch to a lesser extent. Like you were saying, Anderson, it's a very polarizing film. You're Polarized. either going to love it or hate it. But it, we can say this. If you love movies, you should see this movie. It is very violent, though. Just very. There are some moments. Unnecessarily so. And I have a theory to that. I explore it. We both explore it a little bit on Cinematics this week. We go on and on about this movie without giving anything away. I think that actually you'd be better served to go in watching this movie uh, after you actually hear us. I'm not just trying to get you to go over and listen to it. I think that if you were to hear our discussion, it would actually benefit you in watching this movie. So if you have a chance, uh, listen to our show. We also over there hit. I I, I thought we were going to run out of time. We're, we're also we're hitting Hunt for the Wilder People, which yes. is a really cool film straight out of New Zealand. Uh-huh. And we're also, uh, what else are we covering? Uh, we're covering Wiener Dog, Todd Salon's new film, yes. as well as uh, Free State of Jones. Free State of Jones. Anyways, if you love Wiener Dogs, this is the movie to check out. Is that is that clock working, Anderson? No. Oh, no. Good. That's so sad. 30 seconds. Oh, it so just ran. Clock issues once again. That's what happens when you use analog. Hey, guys, thanks for checking out 180 seconds or more this week, I guess it is. And uh, we'll come back next week. Next week. What? Next week. What are we doing? What are we doing Swiss next week? Swiss Army, man. We're doing BFG possibly next week? No. We're doing Swiss no, Army, we're talking man. talking about 180 seconds or less. We're doing Swiss Army, Swiss man. Swiss Army, man. Yes. Yes. And for more information, please check out our podcast and news on thecinematics.com. Cinematics. Cinematics.